Hello to my beautiful subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm just sitting and meditating and watching YouTube. And I just kept hearing Feds did a sweep. Okay, so maybe some of the shit better get raided or Feds about to come up with some of shit. I don't know. They say community. Okay, I could be dealing with the wealthy man, despair. Okay. It's going to shock somebody by surprise. I'm like, yeah, baby. Okay. Okay, spirit guys. Come through with the messages, please. And thank you on what it is that you want me to know. It's about to be a change in the wind for somebody. Okay. It could be this, yep, this wealthy man. This person went down the wrong pathway. This person could have been very materialistic. And they got caught up with somebody that they was in a relationship with or in a home. That's why I keep hearing Feds did a sweep. Yeah, somebody could be going away for a long time. Ooh, message of concern. Okay, somebody is concerned. A, a community of people is concerned. Okay, because this is going to catch them off guard. Mm. Give me messages for it. Please and thank you for surrounding this situation that I just chanted. Yeah, we got a false person. So it's a community of false people. Okay, they could be being watched. I, that's why in the last reading I kept hearing neighborhood watch. Mm -mm -mm. Give me more spirit. These people are entangled in some criminal activity yet unexpected income. Dealing with money or pertaining money. Someone also could have thought that they could steal or take your money. Okay. Someone made a bad investment. Somebody could have got entangled into a loan. Because this is the Ace of Pentacles right here falling in this person's hand. And you see how this person is in poverty. You see how these clothes is ripped up, torn up. It's like someone received a loan or got a loan or investment. A mature woman. Adjudication. Someone could have got a loan or a down payment for a home. Okay, and they could be fighting in court about the situation. Okay, family is involved. Mm -mm. Bad health, somebody is stressing. Okay, because they probably don't want this to come out. Or they don't want nobody to know. Okay, imprisonment again. Someone is going to jail or something. Oh, baby. Give me one more card. Yeah, we got a house. I'm telling you. Somebody received some form of loan or money for a house. Okay. Dealing with a mature man. Or oh, these people are put or oh, getting loans for different houses all over the world. Or just in different states, city, and countries. You take it where it resonates. Like real estate fraud or mortgage fraud or I'm here in bedroom. What the hell? Give me one this false person spirit. And this angel card. So just know that y'all are protected from this situation. Okay, because the angel card still stayed at the bottom of the deck. Be mindful of someone trying to call you or reach out to you. Okay, because they could be needed in need of help. We got dilettante. Pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. So someone was trying to be creative. And take matters into their own hand by superficial gain or superficial things, okay? Someone felt as though that if they did what they did towards getting a home, a house, or a loan, that they was going to be successful or that they was going to be able to receive a lot of money for it. Yeah, we got Trickster at the bottom of the deck. Somebody also could have manipulated someone saying that they was um, paying the bills in their home or they was doing something in their home, but this person could have been spending it on other things. 
Yeah, this could be a lover of yours. I'm hearing financial debt. Financial debt. 5 11 on the clock. Someone is trying to seek answers or get clarity, 5 15, about the situation or this person. Someone could also be doing a lot of praying. Misuse of power and knowledge that come through spiritual practice. Hmm. So someone was definitely misusing and abusing their authority. Someone could be like a drinker, a heavy drinker. Or this person is always drinking. Okay. This person also could have tricked this masculine. Into giving this money or doing this loan. By putting stuff in this drink. I'm, I'm like getting the energy of somebody being in the days. This person could have tried to make it seem like, oh, it was for their responsibilities to take care of things. Because you see how this person is multitasking, doing a lot. Okay, taking care of a lot. This person could have made it seem like that that's what it was for. But in actuality, they was just using it for their habits. Yeah, we got thief. Somebody was playing on someone's vulnerability. I guess to weaken this person. Because it's a misuse of, of, of athletic ability for selfish ends, false sense of invulnerability and entitlement. So this person was doing things to make this person weak and vulnerable in their mental state. So they want to figure out or discover what this person was doing because this person was underhandedly stealing from this person. 7-11 on the clock. Yeah, stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. And this right here says that being creative, a professional, becoming superficial in your pursuits, the lights and the arts without having to be professional. So this person was dibbling and dabbling into this alchemist energy and don't even know what they was dibbling and dabbling in. Okay? This person was looking for, for some form of superficial gain. They just wanted to have control over this masculine. Okay, to manipulate their mindset and for them to do whatever it is that they wanted to do for some form of financial gain. Yeah, look at that beggar. What the heck is going on? And somebody's house is going to get raided or some shit. I keep hearing that song, Fans Did Sweet by Future. Or maybe you guys need to listen to that song. It's a message in there for you. You'll get more understanding or something. Okay, somebody could have been working with other people. We got gambling. Mm. Whoa. Yeah, femme fatale. This person probably didn't know that this person was the... This person could use their sex appeal for a game of, for a gain of control. To play on someone's vulnerability for them to do whatever it is that they want them to do. Whether it's to gain money, resources, or to get a stable living. So this person can be very promiscuous or just into that lifestyle to where though they misuse and abuse their feminine energy for a gain of control, once again. This person wanted to blind this person intuitively. Okay, this could be a baby father. So this could be, oh, baby, hold on, okay. So either this is someone's child's father Okay, they pay for sex or they pay women under the table for sex. Okay, they could get them in a home or this person does a lot for these women or for this woman. Not knowing that this female was mixing pills and potions up to get this man to do and act in this manner. Yes, yeah, say warrior. Shadow attributes, trading ethical principles for victory at any cost, indifference to the suffering inflicted on others. This person was only in it for their own, only in it for their own self. 
Cause the same, and these are the same people. This false person and this fifth fatale. Look, she has a fan right here, and it's a fan right there. So these are the two, the same feminine energy. So this person is used to picking up escorts. Okay. This could be something you know, you don't know. This could be your child's father. Okay, this person takes risks. They gamble with their life. Someone could have a, well, I heard a penthouse full of hoes. What the heck? Some of these people are on drugs. Heroin, cocaine, whatever they do. Because if you're into the fast life or you're into that life to where those all about riches, fame, money, then you're into the the you're into the dark arts. You're dimming and dabbling into things that you don't even know what you're doing. Mm -mm. And if this person, this person, man, do a lot of evil, underhanded shit to get their way. And if they don't, they could lash out on this person or cause a lot of havoc and disturbance to get their way. This person could have had this person on a high pedestal with the liberator. Making this person feel more than what they were. And this person could have abandoned you because you was the child magical. This person didn't want to see your potential and see the beauty within you. Okay, they always chase and ran after the next best thing or what they feel as though was attracted to them by the eye. Okay, this person is just attracted to prostitutes. Or females that's more revealing or females that's more out there. And these are females that dibbles and dabbles into the dark arts. They find anything and everything to be creative about whether it's busting their wide open, opening their legs, uh, showing their ass, okay, sending pictures, okay? This person is definitely distracted by these femme fatale energies. So someone could be stuck in a house with a feminine energy like this, or this person keep attracting these feminine energies. I don't know if this man is in a hotel, this man got a house full of hoes, or it's a house full of strippers. I'm hearing, yeah, yeah, I love the strippers. Yeah, yeah, I love the strippers. So this masculine energy is very wounded because they're in a house full of hoes. This person bypassed you and your integrity. This person feels as though, who are you to have integrity? I'm used to these hoes. So I don't know if it's a house full of hoes. It's about to get rated 1313. Okay. Yeah, it's a father, shadow attributes, dictatorial control, abuse of authority. So it's this person feels though they like a pimp. What the heck? That's why I heard a house full of hoes. This person could be abusing these women, sexually assaulting these women. Or sex trafficking. Like someone is trying to sex traffic you or they into sex trafficking. Okay, you need to stay away from this masculine energy. Whoever this is that's misusing and abusing their authority. Okay, because they're going to try to come in and trick you. 1414 to blindfold you. Okay, they don't want to see what it is that they're up to or what they're doing. Okay, because this person is really into dealing with prostitutes. Or sex trafficking, or I don't know why I heard hoarders. So somebody could be a hoarder. Okay, they feel like that you would be a good candidate with this Samaritan card. Mm -mm. Yeah, because this person feel like they could use your smarts with the teacher and the martyr. Learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself will cause ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. This person feel like that you would be able to learn from these hoes or this person is trying to get these hoes in line. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Mm -mm. I 
All these people could be having sex with one another. This masculine could be so promiscuous. My, my, my head tingling. So where I'm going at is the truth. This masculine is so promiscuous or just their fem their feminine energy is so bruised with the warrior and feminine time that all they know is to dibble with devil and dark arts to get whatever it is that they want out of these women. Whether it's sexually, physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. This person definitely misused and abused their authority. They don't care about nobody else's feelings or emotion but their own. I don't know who this masculine is. 1555. Yeah, this person feel like that they have more power or more strength over you. Or they want to gain control over you. Now, this person could work out. You can work out. Or you might meet this person at a gym. So be careful who you're meeting at when you go out in public places, public settings. 1616. 16. Okay. Give me more spirit. <laughs> we got rebel and visionary. This person could be spying on you through a crystal ball. Or looking into your life through a crystal ball. Because this person is in devil nation as well. So they want to peep your moves at all times. This person could be in could be holding a lot of animosity or frustration towards you. So this person could be upset with you because you know the truth about their life or what they do or who they are. This person could even sell their body for sex, this masculine. Okay, this person feel like that they don't need to change for nobody or they shouldn't have to change for nobody. This person is very rebellious or they're just very stubborn. It's like my way or the highway type energy. This person was hoping that you rebelled against your truest form and who you are by being this warrior and standing up for yourself and having integrity and respect and morals and values and all the things that you will back down and beg to them or you will go to their beck and call and be somebody that you're not. Okay? This person thought that they can turn you out or turn you into these other women that they was involved with or dealt with. Okay. And mm, 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 my nose is itching. Yeah, this person wanted to sabotage you, sabotage your life. Maybe this person made a bet on you. That's what that ink that's that's what this is. This person could have made a bet on you. To make you out to be the person that you say that you're not with this false person. They could have said, oh, I'm going to come over there and I'm going to take control of this person's domain, 1818. This person is not as strong or not as well-powered as they, as they say they are. If I want this person to be my pimp or I want this person to be my hoe, that's what they're going to be. Who is this? They're like, if this person, if this person, I can't even talk. Like, this person to frustrate the shit out of you. Because the person's whole motive was, I guess, to turn you out or to turn you into a hell or to make you go backwards. Because that's what, when I was pulling the cards as well, I seen the four cups, the knight of wands, and the will of fortune. The knight of wands was going towards the will of fortune. Like, somebody wanted you to go back into being promiscuous. Or somebody wants you to go into a cycle of being a hoe or a prostitute or something. What the hell? They wanted you to miss opportunities. That's that full cut because they wanted you to go into a cycle of being lustful. Okay, we got a lot going on. Yeah, we got priest, advocate, hermit, and judge. This person don't like that you that you know what these people, places, and things are doing towards you. These people were so adamant and caught up on the simple fact that they wanted to tarnish your name or your character. So that could be this group or this organization or this house or this whatever this is that's about to get raided or I don't know. Because mm -mm. there's already illegal activities happening around the situation with the gambler card. These people could have been being watched the whole time. That's why visionaries out here. And they don't even know it. So that's why Spirit probably came in and moved you out the way with this warrior card. 
I picked that up in the last reading too. This person that don't like the fuck the the what? This person could be mad because you ain't want to fuck them. Cause I was about to say don't like the fuck. Okay? I don't know what this is. But this person could be mad and upset because you have authority. This person feel like they're gonna be ridiculed by you. You could have also revealed this person's shadow side to them. Because this person was trying their hardest to gain control or sense of power over you because they didn't want you to discover who they really are with this hermit card. They wanted to hide. Look, you see how he's trying to hide? But you shed, you shed the light anyway with that little box right there. And this person could have started to be rebellious towards you because you spoke the truth. You told this person what it was with the police card. You see right through this person and their illusions. You know who this person is. Like this person could literally have a house full of hoes. Or this person just like being around hoes. And they can't shake you. So they're trying to send attacks or do black magic or do shit with these females or with these women to attack you. And they're finding they're finding creative ways to attack you. But there's nothing to fear because you are protected. Yeah, we have gossip and heroin. They don't like the fact that you are moving mountains. Look, they gossiping. They thought that you was going to be straddling the fence or begging for them or wanting to come back or be pressed to be around these people, places, and things. And they can't believe that you're moving mountains. You're reaching the top. Yeah, escapism and the false sense of heroism. Yeah, these people wanted to escape Goji. They was betraying you, okay, telling your secrets or talking about you or spreading rumors and lies because they didn't like the fact that you had integrity. It's a honor and trust. But you sensed and felt these people with the priest card that they was doing this about you, surrounding you, or towards you. Because these people didn't want to face their own reality of who they really were because they already knew that they didn't add up to the amount of you. They was false. They was fake. They was fraudulent. They was into being superficial, materialistic, thinking that they needed to show their body or being a very lustful and toxic and low vibrational energy is going to get them their manifestations. <laughs> so they sit and watch you and see that you actually overcame a lot by standing strong in your faith and your creativity comes to you naturally because you are a true alchemist. These people are doing things behind the scenes to get in this magical energy because you are the child magical. I said that at the beginning. And we have guides. Yeah, you have your guides all around you. You have inner wisdom. These people don't. They have to serve the devil to get what they want. Servant, femme fatale, dilettante, alchemist, rebel. That's like going against God. Going against your core values and your beliefs. Just to get fame and fortune. I cannot make this up. These people. And now the most high is getting in their ass because they're under judgment. That's why we're seeing the judge card. And these people know that they're about to be under judgment. So they're trying to hurry up and run to you or try to apologize to you or say something to you. Because they know their ass is lit up under a flame of fire. I'm telling you, prostitute. These people could have said it just what you were, a prostitute. Look, angel and virgin. Some of you guys are celibate. Okay, you're perfecting your craft, mentor and poet. And now these people want to come in with an apology. I told you, Knight of Cups. Okay, all these people. They try to say, oh, you only want to be with the masculine or you only get men out of your looks or what you got going on or you use your body to get whatever it is that you want. And spirits say, uh, nah. Not my visionary warrior. My visionary leader. Thank you, spirit. They like, what? That shit don't make sense. Because when they look over there at you, you working. Okay? You're working. You're in grind mode. And these people sitting up here probably drinking, smoking, and doing drugs, and doing shit under, under the sun to get money and all that. Because they know. They've been doing it for so long. All they know is to serve the devil. 
we have using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with life exactly they're so superficial and materialistic that all they know is in order to become the best version of themselves or they need money they need to look like this they need to look like that but when it comes to you you just your true authentic self with the angel card okay you embrace the good and the bad within yourself they can't they got to always go after the next big thing or what makes them look better or feel good about this stuff. These people got low self-esteem. Whoever these people are that I'm picking up on, they got low self-esteem like a motherfucker. And when they look at you, it's like, oh, you had to do this and do that to get where you are. No, you didn't. All you had to do is keep fighting and keep holding on and staying strong. <laughs> like what? These people, is a trip. Okay, when these people are actually the ones that's, oh man, anyway, yeah, they thought that you was going to rescue them, okay, I'm telling you, they was using you as a scapegoat, because they didn't want to face their reality, child divine, and these people are stuck into their own mental entrapment or their own slavery that they put themselves in, 26, 26, they could have tried to want to enslave you, and study off you, and learn from you, get yeah, scribe, student, slave, victim and god ain't that something they wanted to use you as an escape goat victimize you study and learn from you just to understand which direction or what it is that they supposed to be doing they wanted to take that innocence from you they wanted to take your faith they like well since we don't believe in it You've been doing this and been working on something for so long. I don't see nothing change. That's the point. It's not for you to see change. It's only for that person that had and was holding that vision to see the change. Fool. That's what I'm saying. Who is these insecure ass people? Like, come on now. You whipping up shit. Dilettante alchemist. Warrior. Visionary. Then it say rebel challenges authority to affect social change, reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Exactly. They wasn't serving your highest good or your highest purpose. And you had to cut them over. They mad because you chop, chop, stupid they ass and left them in the past. And now they got to go through karma through you. And these people ain't even know. It. They ain't even know. It. I'm telling you because they wanted to use you as a, a escape group. They thought that you was going to save them. Now, you could have went around them to save these people, to help these people, to guide these people, and uplift these people. These people just wanted to tarnish your name. Okay? Assumes that the rescue will reciprocate. Keeps the rescue when needy. Exactly. These people was needy off your energy. They needed you. They needed this divine energy. They needed that essence and that purity about you because they couldn't get it themselves. These people are energy vampires, blood suckers is what I heard. And now they're slaves to their own entrapments. These are a bunch of idiots. I'm sorry, but you got to tell it how it is. 28, 28. Okay. Some of these people was friends. We got companion. More like fake friends. I'm telling you, they was trying to steal from you. Okay. They could have been trying, they was trying to guilt trip you as well, smother you. They was codependent off your energy. That's that mother energy. Being codependent off your nurturing energy. Because they knew that you was caring. They knew that you was a good support system for them. So they thought that you was going to come in on your boat and save them. No, you leaving their ass to drown. What it's supposed to be, at Spirit said. Because all they was doing was trying to steal from you and control you mentally with the slave card. And pretend to be your friend. When they didn't want nothing from you but your energy and your resources. Okay? They weren't going to put the work in. They were just going to steal all your ideas with the visionary. Steal your creativity and then pretend like they made it up or that they came along with it or that they said it. Okay? These people don't want to work. They want to be lazy and complacent. They don't want to at least put their best foot forward to at least put something out that's creative that they love to do. No, they just want to sit up here and watch you and talk about you. But it seems to me that you're moving up like the Jeffersons and they are still stuck, okay, crying a river, needing somebody to save them. When they had the opportunity to get on this boat to be saved, but now Spirit is like, no, 
they wanted to be rebellious and go against somebody that is of the divine. You you done gambled your own life. You took this with your own life. You took matters into your own hands to want to go against this person by serving another entity. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm telling you, they wanted to tell lies on you. Storytelling. Every time you turn around, you was the topic of these people's discussion. I keep picking this up. They didn't like how you was an influencer. How you knew more than them and how you know so much. Okay, they thinking that you studied or you have to study to know these things. No, it just comes towards you naturally. Yeah, it's seeker. It comes to you naturally, seeker and teacher. And here come the vampires, the blood suckers. Okay, wanting to suck up all your knowledge and wisdom and pretend like, oh, I help this person get here. I help this person get dead. You ain't help nobody get no fucking way because you ain't even get out of this energy. So how can you help me help you? Please make it make sense. Yeah, shapeshifters. A bunch of shapeshifting ass people. Places and things. Pretending that they rocking for you, they down for you, and they there with you. 31, 31. Well, the whole time, they using you for life support. Because these motherfuckers don't have no souls. They're dead inside. They need you for life support. They need you for energy and resources. They want you to be their head and make Peterson. They want you to be the maid. They like shit. We gonna make this person our maid. They gonna do any and everything I tell them to do. Man or female. Take you where it resonates. Now this could be with a group of friends. Your family. It could be whoever. Just take the energies where it resonates if it's hitting home. Okay? But these people is nothing but some vampires. And all they do is shape shift all day long. They malfunction. Okay? They can't even fucking get shit to get. They can't even. Who, baby. They can't even get their damn thoughts together. That's how I know I'm feeling their energy because I'm all over the place. And this is just in the mental because I know that these people can't even stop you. They done did everything they could, 32, 32. And they still shape-shifting their ass away and malfunctioning and shit. Look, we got the food that came out. We got the food sticking out. Hopefully, I can keep it how it is. Look, just like this, food. Yeah. A bunch of helpless-ass people, hopeless-ass people, seriously, wanted to come in and suck from you and take from you, try to set you up. When they don't even know that they being watched and they about to go through a sweep or some shit. Okay? Somebody literally could be in the lab. Somebody could have been top tampering with somebody's doctor records. Or they could have been saying that you got health issues. Uh, no. I think the fuck not. Because when you're a child of the divine, you're protected. You're in all areas. Health, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. That's why you're the warrior. Okay? No sickness, no illness come to you. Or towards you, 33-33. It only goes towards these people that are using their sacral, sexual, whatever energy for negative purposes, negative gain. Okay? These people are real live escorts. And they sitting up here watching you, stealing and taking from you and trying to fake and pretend like they made it up or they came to the idea or they came to the conclusion that they wrote it or that they said it first or that they channeled it or spirit gave me this spirit spirit didn't give you shit you went on somebody else shit and you start seeing them tap into their creativity by telling stories and giving actual reasoning and then you take your slow stupid ass over there to your channel and pretend like oh i did this did this did this did this, did this, did this, did this. you ain't do nothing well, whole time later at night, you sitting up here creeping and sneaking and geeking and shit. Fucking on multiple people, selling your ass, tricking and doing all this other shit. I don't have nothing against what you do, but just don't pretend and fake like you a service of the most high one whole time. You doing underhanded shit in the background. And then somebody that's actually of light, you using them as an escape goat. From your dirty, nasty ass deeds. Go sit your ass down somewhere. Okay. Yeah, inability to commit to a path once found. Exactly. How you gonna say, baby? Mm -mm. I know we all have a past. Nobody is perfect. Once again, 
But it's like, once you learn the lessons that you needed to learn from the past, even if you were somebody that was promiscuous or used to have unhealthy decisions or unhealthy choices, like, why you want to keep continuing to be in that energy? It's time to, like, fully boss up and have more respect for yourself. Because this is not getting you anywhere at all. It's, it's not. That's why people be wanting to steal and take from somebody that actually have some form of purity and respect for themselves. Look, the white dress with the hearts. Like, you love yourself. You're not just out here just doing any and everything. But I'm going to close it right here because we have 35 minutes. This is our message. Hopefully, it helps and resonate. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification. Peace.